Hi friends and golfers, Eric Solberg, EGS Golf Academy. We're gonna do a Pro Center review today. Um, see the Pro Center, it's got this wrap around here, a uh, little foreign piece, put your hand in, and also it comes with a nice cool ball that attaches with Velcro on there. We'll go over this in a bit. Um, first, I thought I'd go over what I don't like about it. Um, it's hard to get on the way it wraps onto your arm. And I thought it just may be me when I was getting frustrated doing it, but I've asked other people to own it. And they're like, yeah, I've had to have my wife do it or somebody put it on because it's just hard to get on there tight. But I'll say this, that is not enough to hold me back from recommending it or getting it, okay? There's some really good value out of this thing. So training aids, um, I have quite a few of them. I really don't use a lot of them in my lessons. Um, I'm a huge fan of the TRS, uh, the tour rotation stick. Just goes on the end of your uh, club, tightens up, and it comes out about this high. Tons of different drills I do with that one. Um, I'm a fan of um, the Smart Ball, Martin Chuck's Tour Striker Between the Arms. Um, I love that one. Um, now I'm a big fan of this thing. Um, I like the hanger, um, which helps you kind of get like this. Um, but what I like is, in a training aid, something that doesn't force you into a position, okay? Because here's the thing. Like, if I have, let's say I have something that goes click, 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 click. Some of that may have, uh, you know what I'm talking about, which one I did, that holds me like this, okay, in this position. So I get this nice um, hinge in my trail wrist. Guess what my hand is actually doing, though, when it's like that? It's actually fighting against it, okay? It's not just like, oh, I like this, I'm going to stay here. In a way, it's like going against that push, okay? So what happens is when you don't use it, you're doing, you, you get worse, okay, because your hand ha has like, grown accustomed to going this way instead of that way. Okay, so that's what is incredible and awesome about this. And you say, oh, yes. it's just thought process when made about how awesome this is. And I'm not surprised with David Woods and um, Sean Foley that they came up with this because two excellent coaches. So I'm for, this is all about getting the proper wrist hinge in the trail hand, okay? That's what this is about, okay? So when you get into here, one of our main goals on the backswing is getting a good wrist hinge, okay? So for those of you that have these terrible grips that are through the palm, you never ever get a wrist hinge because your grip doesn't allow your, yourself to hinge. But let's assume you have a decent grip that's not in your palm. And one of your goals is to get back here. So we have this trail wrist extended. Now, this is what's important. For those of you that cast or those of you that probably come way over the top, first move is this. You would get out of anything, else, even if you extended it up to here right but most of you haven't but if you had first move would be off of it so what is the goal with this i'm up here first goal is to start your downswing with it and most likely if you can keep this thing in there to start your downswing you will notice guess what that you're shallowing the golf club and i know most of you out there would love to learn to shallow the golf club now watch what happens if i keep it in here see where it comes now if you can tell the perfect position in this video i should be in my forum right in line with my forearm to go here and then look at that impact is going to be more like so it's not going to be in here at impact right because i can't hold that but i'm going to hold it as long as i can on the way down and i'll be something like this eventually we have to release i can't come through and swing like <laughs> that through impact okay um so the goal with this is to get a good hinge so you can see how i'm in there it's got a nice little i hope you can see it right here a little notch in there where this forefinger will go right there right and it fits right in there perfectly um, so I'm trying to get in there way back and then I'm trying to hold it on the way down as long as I can. Okay. And then I'm going to release. Okay. People ask me all the time with, with, about this thing. Well, when do I release? When do I let go? Just when it goes, it goes. Okay. As long as you can hold it, you'll go. So some of you who still are going to go like this and end up here, then you didn't hold it near long enough to get where we need to be. Okay. So this is what's really cool too. This little attachment here. Um, it just grips on, I mean, it just grips on it. Um, Velcro is right onto this thing here um, and you can put it in what's cool is so I have this thing on the wrong way a bit with this cover so I apologize about that but if I just put this here so that the um, Velcro is here should be on the underside which is another thing with um, hard to get on <laughs> I put this on the wrong way but that's okay you can still see kind of let me just do this so you can see it what it's like so it's going to be really low and what's cool about this thing is here is how pliable it is. So when you want to go up and we're getting this in here, I can push against this thing and I can come down, I'm holding it, I'm holding it. So look at this structure I have on. So one of the things, one of the big differences you find between pros and amateurs 
if you look at them just in general, and it's something I look at all the time, like what do all the pros do? What do most amateurs do to find the major differences? One of them is this, is distance between the elbows. Amateurs will start usually pretty close and then they're like wide apart, and especially an impact, their arms are so far apart. They may have one here, one back here. And you look at pros, they will keep these elbows pretty. They do not separate a ton. Yes, they have separated at some point a little bit, but not a ton. And that's why it's great to have it down low here. So pro sender, I am all for this one. Buy it, use it, practice with it, because most of you have the fault of either an over the top move or some kind of cast where you wouldn't be in this. So this is gonna fix most of you. And even if you don't, this is a good reminder to have. I use it, I don't have that problem at all. And I um, I, like, I like to use it just to get that feel to make sure I have the proper amount of trail wrist hinge in there coming down. So I, I use it, I like it myself too. So I love it with the ball. Next time I do something, I'll put it put this on here right for you guys. But that's usually not a problem. That's more of my fault the way I put it on. Um, Cause you have Velcro here and here and the way I, this is kind of a missing gap. So I put it on a little wrong. And the other cool thing you can do is this. Let me show you this really quick. I can take this off. Okay. So I took that off. Now this is the little band I'm going to put on here. So this will show you this. This is what I like doing too with this. See what I'm talking about? How it's not the easiest to uh, get on like this. It should have some kind of loop to make it a little easier. So but here we go. Now I have it in the right place. But this is, I do this more without the Pro Sender, um, without the actual plastic piece on there. You can put it on here. And the cool thing about this is adjustable. Some people need it a little different spot, okay? Like to find out where it goes. So I, somebody may need it right here. Somebody may, may need it up here, okay? So it just depends where you need it. And then you find your spot for it, and then you got it. And you can just practice swinging with this ball and work on it like that, okay? So I need to have this tighter. So it doesn't do that. So but I think you guys get the point. Um, I'm all for the Pro Sender. Get it, try it out. It's a little pricey, um, I think, but I don't think you need to buy tons of training aids, okay? So if you're gonna purchase a training aid, and oh, I gotta add this, I'm not paid a dollar by them to make this, okay? So um, a lot of times I'm sent training aids to try them on and show people what they're about and they'll give me some or whatever, or give me a big discount on them. This one, no, I'm just showing you guys what they are. And and all the pros that you see right now, I'm talking about them, they're not being compensated either. So this is a this is a pretty cool training day. And I don't, it's not a fad, it's not going to style because we've been trying to do this forever with our hands. So there was one that came out before that I told you it goes click, 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 click. This is way better. It's not even close because of how I explained earlier. All right. Folks, if you got any questions, leave, leave a question in the comments and I'll uh, help you out. And uh, Eric Solberg, EGS Golf Academy.